17 Netflix K-dramas you need to binge watch immediately. At number one, we have Destined With You. Many people get hooked on K-dramas for the romantic plots, and Destined With You offers a fresh twist on this beloved genre. Featuring SF9's Rowoon and Joe Boa, the drama takes a humorous approach to romance. The main characters, Jang Xinyu and Lee Hongjo, find themselves caught in an unavoidable love story, but there's no pretense of fake dating or business arrangements here. Instead, Hongjo accidentally casts a love spell on Xinyu after finding a 300-year-old spellbook, which contains more than one secret for the pair. At number two, we have My Demon, What Could Be Better Than a Love Story Starring Fan Favorite Song Kong. From Nevertheless, Sweet Home, Love Alarm, how about a love story featuring Song Kong as a brooding demon? In this captivating drama, Song portrays Zhang Guwan, a demon who has lived on Earth for 200 years. His life takes a complicated turn when he crosses paths with the cold-hearted heiress Du Du he played by Kim Yu Young, who inexplicably drains him of his powers unless he stays near her. To ensure his survival, he must protect Du He and pretend to be her bodyguard. However, their arrangement becomes complicated as emotions start to interfere. The cast also includes the well-known Lee sang E, recognizable from last year's Bloodhounds and 2021's Hometown Cha-Cha-Cha. At number three, we have All of Us Are Dead, What Happens When You Combine High School Students with Zombies? You get the captivating series All of Us Are Dead, another Netflix adaptation of a webtoon. Set in the fictional city of Hyosin, the show follows a group of teenagers who become trapped in their school during a nationwide zombie outbreak, struggling for survival. With elements of high school romance and plenty of suspense, All of Us Are Dead will keep you hooked through its 12 episodes, concluding with a gripping cliffhanger. Make sure to catch up now before season two arrives. At number four, we have The Glory. When a series quickly becomes one of the most watched non-English titles on Netflix after its release, you know you're in for something special. This two-part drama, starring veteran actor Song Haikyo and beloved Lee Doohyun, promises to keep you enthralled from the very start. Enduring years of brutal physical and verbal abuse during high school, Moon dong Un, portrayed by Song, begins planning her revenge that spans decades. In her 30s, she ingeniously infiltrates the lives of each of her former tormentors, orchestrating their gradual downfall. There's nothing quite as satisfying as witnessing a revenge story unfold. At number 5, we have DP. If you're someone who enjoys Korean culture, you're likely familiar with the country's mandatory military service. Shout out to K-pop and soccer fans. However, DP sheds light on a facet that many of us aren't acquainted with. Adapted from the popular webtoon DP Dog's Day by Kim Botong, the series follows the journey of Private on Jun Ho, played by Jung Hae-in, and Corporal Han ho Yeol, played by Koo kyo Hwan an unlikely duo assigned to the deserter pursuit unit of South Korea's military police. Their task? Tracking down soldiers who have gone AWOL. Over two seasons, DP delves into challenging themes like hazing and bullying within the military, all while offering intense action sequences and moments of well-timed humor. At number six, we have Mask Girl. If you're craving even more suspense, Mask Girl is the show you've been looking for. This thriller, adapted from a webtoon, stars Lee Han Bayol and after-school member Nana, and it follows the story of Kim Emomi, an ordinary office worker during the day who leads a double life. Longing for fame since childhood, Emomi transforms into a cam girl at night, donning a mask to conceal what she perceives as her ugly appearance. However, after a revealing stream, she descends into a spiral of events that alter her life irreversibly, involving bullying, vengeance, sexual violence, and murder. Mask Girl isn't for the faint of heart, Heart, but its gripping narrative from the outset makes it a must-watch. Pair your popcorn with some soothing tea for this one. At number 7, we have Sweet Home, adapted from the immensely popular webtoon of the same name. Sweet Home unfolds in the apocalyptic setting mainly within the confines of the Green Home apartment complex. The series follows the intertwined lives of its residents as monstrous creatures run rampant through the city. Song Kong stars as Cha Hyun Su, the central character, who initially moves into room 1410 with intentions of ending his life. However, his plans to take an unexpected turn when he becomes infected and gains superpowers, setting him apart within the group. While the horror elements draw you in, it's the complex relationships among the residents that will keep you engaged, with season 3 promising further exploration of these dynamics when it arrives this summer. At number 8 we have Move to Heaven if you're into heartfelt stories, then Move to Heaven should be at the top of your watch list. Tang Jun Sang stars as Han Ju Ar Yu, a young man diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome who unexpectedly takes over his father's trauma scene cleaning company following his passing. Lee J. E. Hoon portrays Sangu, Ju Ar Yu's estranged uncle, who becomes his legal guardian and business partner after being released from prison. As trauma cleaners, this nephew uncle duo not only deal with the aftermath of tragic incidents, but also uncover the poignant stories of the deceased through the items they clean, all while delving into their own family secrets. At number 9, we have Bloodhounds in this action packed crime drama, real-life best friends Wu Duhuan and Lee sang E take on the roles of fictional best friends Kim Jian Wu and Hong Wu Jin. Both characters are former Marines
friends turned boxers, and their paths intersect after a chance fight brings them together. Bonding over shared experiences and financial struggles, they form a strong connection and team up to confront private loan sharks after falling victim to a scam themselves. Get ready for plenty of brotherly banter as these two navigate their way through the gritty world of crime and deception. At number 10, we have Celebrity, a captivating blend of thriller and romance. Celebrity stands out as one of the most addictive K-dramas in recent years. The series centers on COA Ree, portrayed by Park Yu Young, a former affluent girl who transitions into a door-to-door -door saleswoman before embarking on a journey to become a social media influencer, enticed by the allure of wealth and status. However, beneath the surface glamour lies a complex web of money, fame, power, love, and even murder. If the gripping storyline isn't enough to capture your attention, the chemistry between Kang Min Hyuk, playing the role of Han Jun Kyung, heir to Korea's largest cosmetics company, and Park Yu Young might just change your mind. At number 11, we have the fabulous similar to Celebrity. The Fabulous is another K-drama delving into the glamorous world of Korea's fashion elite, but with a distinct absence of murderous twists. Led by Chinese Choi Miho and Chai Soo Bin, the series revolves around a circle of friends in their late 20s, navigating the competitive fashion scene in Seoul. Prepare for fashion week spectacles intertwined with sizzling romances. Honestly, the F in the fabulous could just as easily signify fun. At number 12, we have The Silent Sea. The Silent Sea, spanning eight episodes, is a reinterpretation of director Choi Han Young's 2014 short film, The Sea of Tranquility. This sci-fi thriller boasts a star-studded cast, including Bei Duna, Gong Yu, and Lee Jun, portraying a crew embarking on a perilous mission to the moon in search of a valuable sample crucial for saving life on Earth. With desertification causing resources to dwindle, the stakes are high. Throughout their journey, the crew encounters both external threats and internal conflicts that unveil hidden truths. The cinematography and special effects in The Silent Sea are as captivating as its intricate plot lines. At number 13, we have The Good Bad Mother Prepare Yourself with Tissues because The Good Bad Mother delivers the drama and K-drama. Starring R.A. Miran and Lee Doo Hyun, the series centers on a mother-son pair whose lives are reset to square one after a tragic accident. Forced to confront both the joys and traumas of their past, the duo navigates through their newfound challenges. It's best to dive into this one with minimal prior knowledge. Just trust us and press play. And yes, once again, have those tissues handy. At number 14, we have Business Proposal. If you're in the mood for a heartwarming office romance that you can watch on repeat, Business Proposal is the perfect choice. This show will have you feeling giddy like a teenager, so don't try to resist it. On Hyosip Stars as Kang tae -moo, the wealthy CEO of a food company known for his perfectionism, while Kim Sejong plays Shin Hari, a researcher within the company. A fake date brings them together, but their ensuing love story is anything but fake. And what's better than one love story? Two, of course. Enter the blossoming romance between Kim min Kyu and Seol in -ah's characters, the show's second leads. At number 15, we have Alchemy of Souls. If you're into longer binge watches, Alchemy of Souls is the perfect series for you. Consisting of two parts, totaling 30 episodes, this period K-drama with a fantasy twist centers on mages who possess the ability to transfer their souls between bodies using a forbidden magic spell, from which the series derives its name. Yes, body swapping is a central theme here, making for a storyline that's both intricate and entertaining. Imagine Game of Thrones-style character charts, but with a K-drama twist and a touch more romance. At number 16, we have See You in My 19th Life. See You in My 19th Life follows the journey of Ban ji -wem, portrayed by Shin hai Sun, who reincarnates with memories of her past lives intact. After living for nearly a millennium, ji -wem embarks on her 19th life with a determination to change her fate. Her mission, to reunite with a special person, played by on Bo Hyun, whom she encountered in a previous life cut short by tragedy. With a plethora of twists and turns, this drama encompasses intertwined past lives, ancient tales, and acts that defy destiny. Featuring a captivating protagonist and a male lead who starts off aloof but gradually opens up, see you in my 19th life, has all the elements to keep viewers hooked. At number 17, we have The Uncanny Counter. The Uncanny Counter seamlessly blends action and fantasy across its two seasons. The series centers around teenager So Mun, played by Jo byung Q. After surviving a near-fatal accident, Mun leads a seemingly ordinary life with his grandparents until he encounters a supernatural force, triggering the development of superhuman abilities. The Counters are a group of employees at a noodle shop who also serve as hunters of malevolent spirits that escape from the afterlife to prey on humans. Upon recruiting Mun, the team embarks on thrilling adventures. True to its name, the uncanny counter defies expectations, offering a mix of emotional depth and suspense. It's the perfect choice for a light sci-fi watch to unwind after a long day. I hope you liked the video, and do let me know what could be the next topic for our video.